Hola, ¿cómo están todos? Continuamos hoy un día más con What Remains of Edith Finch ¿Sí? Esta historia de la familia Finch eh, Bueno, vamos a seguir Que continúa con la historia de Bárbara ¿Sí? Bárbara Finch Edith's father Odin built the original house Este es el, el señor que viajó con la casa a cuestas y se la llevó el mar. Esta es Bárbara Finch. Whenever people ask me about my family, the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Aparentemente es una ficha de película. Mi amigo, el, mi amigo pie grande, Bárbara Finch. Acá está cerrada la pieza de, de Barbara Finch. Vamos a meternos por, por donde salimos. Así podemos entrar a la habitación. Que se pasa hizo secreto. Ahí está, estamos adentro de la habitación. Growing up, I always thought of Barbara as a child star. I never thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Mira, Barbara Street. Ah, fue para la época de haber sido un icono importante. De esas estrellas juveniles, ¿no? De, de la época. ¿Qué tenemos? Dreadful Stories. Barbara Finch. Of all the stories people wrote about Barbara's death, I'm surprised Edie saved this one. Mira la vieja historieta. El final oh, sorpresa. Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. El final sorpresa de Barbara As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has been. But in a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <coughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Her biggest fan and current boyfriend, Rick, was Su mayor fan y su novio Rick estaba a punto de demostrarlo cuando. Now that was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. Okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. A ver, oigo What if I tried to no get no in Halloween mass? I've been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents to... Basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. Hey, no, chef, the secret the music. is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Mira vos. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. Twenty minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. So Barbara went to look for him. Así que Barbara se fue a buscarlo justo en el momento oportuno. Les leo ahí abajo porque estoy yo, entonces no, no lo van a ver. Y mientras giraba la llave, intentó ir a Rick, pero la casa estaba en silencio.
Qué bien hecho. She found Rick Scratch and imagined the worst. Ah, voy a interactuar con todo. The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman Killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family 10 years ago tonight. El líder de la banda es el famoso asesino del gancho, el doctor Carmen Hamel, que empaló y después engulló a su familia una noche como esta de hace 10 años. Esta es la sierra que se cortó el padre, la mano. Toma. Oh. Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your scream. Well, I'm not scared, Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out, but she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later... Barbara! Walter, what's going on up there? Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. ¿Por dónde va a salir? Por acá. Ah, se metió a la habitación de... Creo que Molly.
la habitación del nene, pero ya estuvimos ahí. No, tenemos que bajar la escalera. No podemos salir. Ahora tenemos que encontrar al nene. ¿Dónde está el nene? Uy, se fue. El hombre gancho había desaparecido. Escuchó para ver si lo oía respirar, pero todo lo que oyó fue el timbre. monsters they were and she realized what was about to happen she was going to be famous and with her final breath barbara finch gave the performance of her life <laughs> She had a taste for stardom, but unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on. Por supuesto, la policía culpó de todo el pobre Rick que desapareció la misma noche. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole time. He took it all pretty hard, but that's another story. As for Barbara. Tucked inside the music box is all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Es bien el estilo de Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Ya tenemos otro personaje. Eh, la historieta es muy al estilo de cuentos asombrosos. O sea, esos clásicos de los 80 de las películas de terror. Muy bien, bueno, ya tenemos otro personaje más. Por acá no podemos salir. Vamos a tener que salir de vuelta. Por el pasadizo secreto. Now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. Ya sabemos a dónde tenemos que ir, ¿no? Vamos a la caja de música. A ver, ¿qué tenemos acá? A lot of things got left behind in the whirlwind of that last night. Acá está la cajita de música. Ahí está la llave. Qué bien hecho. Tenemos la 
la mesa de pool, tal cual estaba como en el cómic. Mom said the basement was off limits, unless I wanted another tetanus shot. La mesa de carpintería. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. Bien como. It turned out she was hiding a lot more than that. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. If there's a pattern in all these stories, I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Walter, 1952-2005. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. On that first day, after the shaking started, I didn't think I'd survive a week. But after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today, I always expected to be dead tomorrow. If you wait long enough, you'd be used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. And then one day, everything just stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. Como le fue cambiando las, la, la tonalidad de piel. No sé si se dieron cuenta. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. Somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. Lo que fuera que mató a Barbara. And Molly. No, se tronó mal. And Calvin. Maybe this is all a mistake. Quizá todo esto sea un error. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. Aunque eso acabe conmigo. Es un túnel. Como 
salimos para el otro lado de un túnel. Estas son las vías. Whatever's out there, I want you to know, I'm ready for it. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. Voy a valorarlo, valorarlo todo, especialmente la comida, dice. I don't mind if I only have a year left. No me importa si solo me queda un año. Or a month. O un mes. Or a single week. O una sola semana. I'd be happy with one new day. Me conformaría con un solo día diferente. I can already imagine the sun on my face. No. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. Tuvo 30 años abajo. Qué locura. Este es el hermano de Sam. Este es Walter, el que fue a la guerra. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, I can only imagine what else she was hiding. I don't want to make the same mistakes she made. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> Now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two, I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself and found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Que barba. Que vista, no? I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. Pero pensé que debías saber cosas de tu familia. Como que le está hablando a otra persona. And the history you're a part of. Y sobre la historia de la que formas parte. Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth.
And when you look at the house, at that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Oh, estos son todas las mascotas. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly Finch. Calvin Finch. El astronauta. El que está en la habitación de, de astronautas. Es el que murió en la, en la maca. Seven Finch es el carpintero, que era el padre, el que se le cayó el, el dragón de madera. Eddie Finch, este no me acuerdo. No, este me parece todavía no lo vimos, porque siete años tiene. Este no lo vimos. Walter Finch, que es el de el del tren, que lo atropelló el tren. Barbara Finch, la, la estrella de Hollywood. Bueno, no nos están faltando, nos está faltando uno, Eddie Finch, que todavía no lo I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Odin is el, el que se le hundió la casa. You see it poking out of the water at low tide. Ah, la casa está ahí, está ahí la casa. Claro, hizo el monumento mirando en la casa. No. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. No, Sam Finch. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Bueno. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Ah, oh, no, es una, una leche. La más mala leche imposible. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself.
but looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Ah, está embarazada ella. Entonces ahí está. Ella le está hablando a su hijo. No nacido todavía. Por eso hablaba así en tercera persona. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Ah, este es el militar entonces. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm -hmm. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. What? Perfect. Doing it. It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. Just a second, I'm older than you are. Exactamente no vale. You're right, Dad. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing, though. Take a picture of you. I definitely won't be moving. Are you done yet? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. Uh, nothing quite like being outside. I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, 
That was a great trip. Your grandpa Sven taught us how to... Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. Give me a minute to check the map. Dad! No. Nice, Don. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Let me get behind you. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you need to be strong. Great shot, Don! <laughs> I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? Photo seat. <laughs> Sorry, Don. Just gotta reset the timer. Ah, là, c'est le. Ah, ça. Dad, it's twitching. I think it's totally normal, Don. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about. Dad. Ah, tu le dices si vengo. Of all these stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Bueno, creo que después de esta historia, ya esta segunda parte de la familia Finch, yo creo que está está terminada. Eh, eh, Vamos a continuar con una tercera y última, ¿sí? Como para terminar el juego. Eh, bueno, comenten, dejen, dejen sus likes, ¿sí? Y nos estamos viendo prontito. Que anden bien. Chao, chao.